Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to talk about is it possible to make a switch from software testing to software development? So the short answer is absolutely yes, but why you should not make a move from software testing to software development unless and until you are absolutely keen to be a software developer and you have the right set of skills. I'm going to discuss all of that in this particular video. So stay tuned until the last because you are going to get a lot of information that how it is possible to switch from software testing to software development if you want to. Okay. And why you shouldn't be basically doing it if you do not have the right set of skills to move into the development profile. So the first and foremost thing, is it possible? Yes, absolutely. It is possible from the software testing field to move to the software development. Now, how it is possible? The first and foremost thing is, say, for example, you started as a software tester. Okay. And prior to moving to software testing profile, you had some programming exposure, but because you were hired in the service based industry, many times it's possible that you are not or the company is not able to find the software development projects for you. Okay. And they assign you into the software testing projects. Now, if you have been assigned into the software testing project without your or uh, mostly you are not very much interested, but because of the billability and profitability of the company, the project has been assigned to you and you have you are bound to work into the software testing project. So if that's the case, yes, it does make sense because your initial inclination itself was into the software development. So yes, it does make sense that yes, you go ahead, you prepare more, you continue preparing or you continue upskilling yourself in your programming capabilities so that whenever there is, whenever you are out of this project or whenever there is another opportunity within your organization for development, you are able to make that move, right? Because once you start working into the testing field, you will start learning the testing concepts as well. Your time will be distributed into the project. You will be full time working into the project. So you have to make sure that after hours you are spending some time to upskill yourself in whatever programming language that you are comfortable with or you were thinking to be the developer in that particular programming language or full stack programmer. Continue doing it so that your skills are upgraded and you keep preparing yourself for the next move into the software development profile or the role. Okay. Now the second category of people who actually do not have that programming capability or inclination into the software development at all. Okay. They started as a software tester, but then somehow they want to learn development and eventually just want to move into the development roles because the initial salary that a developer might be getting is a bit more than what tester might be getting, right? That's a misconception that happens. There might be cases wherein there are developers who are being paid less as compared to testers at the same level. So this happens, but there is no sort of segregation at the level of developer or tester that tester will be paid less and developer will be paid more, especially in service based. It's a structured uh, sort of level and there is a min and max range within that particular level. If you are at that particular level, you will be paid accordingly. Okay. It doesn't matter you are tester or developer. So if you are that second kind of person who wants to move into a different profile into development for a better salary or just to make more money. Okay. The advice or basically my personal opinion is don't do it. Okay. It's not an advice. It's basically my personal opinion. It's up to you. You take it or you leave it. Right. So there's no hard and fast rule that you have to basically follow. So in that particular case, it's advisable that you do not make that move because if you make a move for the money and you do not have the right set of skills, you won't be able to survive or you won't be able to perform well in that particular project. And if you are not able to perform well, then eventually you will start feeling the stress, pressure and you definitely have to learn and upskill yourself to sustain in that particular field. Okay. So if you want to really become a developer, from the testing field, it doesn't matter what your reason is, even if it is for the money, make sure that you learn 
all the core concepts all the details and the level of expertise that is required to become a developer in any technology okay now moving for money is absolutely not going to be fruitful because eventually testing and development or even though initially you might feel that developers are getting paid more eventually in few years you will see that at some point of time when you grow in your career as a as a testing professional you will end up getting paid a lot more okay and you will be sitting at the similar level or maybe higher as compared to the development people okay so there is no sort of barrier or bar and at every level there will be people who are sitting at a little higher salary range and people sitting at a little lower salary range and that's the company structure right so that shouldn't be the main reason for making a move from one role or one profile to other profile the only reason reason for making the move should be your own inclination and your own ability to cope up and learn in that particular profile right so once you will be having an interest and inclination in that particular role obviously that role and profile will suit and you will be able to sustain absolutely fine in that particular role so the to uh, reiterate and summarize making a move from software testing to development is absolutely possible you have to find your reason for making that move if it is your own inclination and your initially you wanted to get into that field absolutely go ahead and move to the development if it is money then you have to think yourself and decide what is best for you to stick in the software testing field if you are liking it stick here and you will be able to make equally amount of money in the software testing field as well there will be people who will say software testing is not well paid profession but there are exceptions everywhere okay i know software testers back in india okay they have grown so well at my same uh, experience level many of my known contacts have easily crossed 50 to 60 lakhs in india okay that's that's the level they are sitting at uh, the packages so it's it's not that as a software tester they have not grown okay and i know the people who were in the development profile they are still at 40 45 okay and then i know development uh, or people who are developer in the same team at the same level they are you know even making a lot more back in india right because they are working in the international packages so they are making a lot more so there will be differences in the packages at every level but it all depends in every field how much you yourself polish yourself and are able to negotiate the packages for you at a particular level okay so that's all for this video i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching